What is going on everyone? In today's video, we're gonna be looking at what you can get in Miami for less than $500,000. We're gonna be taking out a few one bedrooms and a few two bedrooms in different areas of Miami so you can get a better idea realistically of what you can get at this price range. I didn't choose the best of uh, its price range because sometimes it's not realistic, right? So I kind of chose what you can realistically get at that price range, whether it is a one bedroom or two bedroom in different parts of Miami. So you get a really good idea of what you should be expecting if you are looking at this price range, of course. Anyway guys, let's jump into the video right now. Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. For those of you that don't know me, my name is Hans Weisfeld, local real estate agent down here in Miami since 2016. I've been helping buyers and sellers from out of the state and out of the country invest, relocate, and move down here to Miami. So everything I'm gonna be telling you is something that I do every single day, looking at properties at different price ranges in different locations uh, for those of you that are looking to relocate or even invest in Miami. But today we're not gonna be talking anything about investing, we're gonna be talking about what you can get at this price range. I'm gonna give you very, very realistic ideas. I already chose a few properties that we're gonna be looking at here in my computer. So you get a really good understanding of what you can get at that price range, whether it is a one bedroom or a two bedroom. Before I jump in, just to let you know, around the $500,000 mark uh, for one bedroom, you could get really, really nice one bedrooms, all right? I'm not talking about the most luxury either. I'm talking about really nice, okay? Some in buildings you may get luxury, but you're not gonna get, of course, the top, right? And then for two bedrooms at that price range, you're gonna get medium properties, okay? In the, you know, really nice areas, like a brick or downtown, edge wider areas, areas of sunny house and, and different different areas where uh, prices are a little bit more expensive, you're really not gonna get anything in those areas at this price range. However, if you go to different areas, North Miami Beach, Aventura, a little bit further west in different areas of Miami, you can start getting some decent two bedrooms, all right? So I'm gonna share that with you so you can already have a heads up of what you should be expecting. All right, guys, let's jump into the computer right now. All right, guys, so first let's start out with the one bedrooms. I'm gonna go into the map. So you kind of check this out. We have one in Sunny Isles. We have one here in the in the North Beach area. Okay, this is the Miami Beach North Beach area. We have one in Edgewater. We have one in downtown Miami. So as you can see, not even in Brickell there was nice uh, one bedrooms for under five hundred thousand. There is, but not right now. So anyway, let's jump into the first one. This is the Quantum on the Bay condo. I really love this condo in Edgewater. It's right across the street from the park. Very well located. Let's check out the inside. So what I like about this condo, as you can see, check out those views from this condo. Those views are amazing. Biscayne Bay views. Some have a little bit of ocean view. Wash your dryer inside, check that out. You see this park is the Margaret Park right across the street, so it's a really, really fun park. It's an up and coming area. Edgewater is awesome. So it has a lots of amenities. It's a really big condo. Very, very good choice at the price range. Okay, so these are all the amenities in the building. As you can see, movie theaters and all these different scenarios. Uh, this is the building right here. Okay guys, so it's Gorgeous building, the quantum on the bay. So, just so you have an idea, one, one and a half, okay, it has a one bathroom and a half, price 435,000. And uh, square footage, a little bit less than 800, and this, it was built in 2007. So that's very realistic. Next, let's check out uh, downtown Miami. So this is the Wynn. This is located right here. Let me show you, this is right here. There's three buildings here. Love it right there. So, um, the wind condo, really cool views. Okay, you have the water views right here. This is the Brickle City Center right there. They're gonna be building another building here, the Lofty, really high-end short-term rental building. So this one has really cool views. Again, it's three different buildings. You have a gate right here, and so you have pretty much a security right here, and right here you have like two different entrances with security. You could go here walking on the boardwalk, you go over the bridge and walk right into Brickle. So it's so well located, I really love this building. Really nice amenities, lots of young professionals in this building. 
So this is the one bedroom. So also washer dryer, really nice balcony, amenities. Okay, really, really cool building. So again, the price for this one was 415. Okay, let's go check out the next one, 449. This is Miami Beach. This is the North Beach part that I showed you earlier. So right on the water, a few, few blocks from the beach. I used to actually live right next door to this building. Really love it, so check out the views. Views in this building are also amazing. You can go kayaking, stand up paddleboard. If you do have a boat, you can uh, pay for uh, space, for dock space. Check out the size of the balcony. It is an older building, however, it is amazing. Love this building, love the views and the location. So this is the building right here. Everything is very walkable here in Miami Beach. Very close to the beach, very close to restaurants and stores. So it's very, also very well located. So again, 449, one bedroom, one bath and a half, 1,100 square feet. Okay, so everything in this building is usually a little bit bigger than other buildings in the area. So it's very good choice. And then lastly, we're gonna go a little bit up north. So you, here's Miami Beach. You go a little bit more north and you get to Sunny Isles Beach. Okay, so Sunny Isles is also a very nice area. There's very few one bedrooms for this price range in the area, but this one is uh, $450,000. One bedroom, one bath, almost a thousand square feet. So it's also a pretty large unit. So this is views to all Sunny Isles, looking south, sorry, looking north. So right across the street from the beach, literally across the street from the beach. So this is the unit inside. So well, you know, well maintained, nice unit. Seems like it's been renovated. Um, open kitchen. A really nice unit and really nice views. This building was just recently renovated. They did, as you can see here, they did the lobbies, they did the valet, they did the hallways, elevators. They did a lot of work to this building. So it's also a really good choice. Right, so here's these, this is the building, the first one. So it's literally right across the street from the beach. I mean, very, very good choice. All right, guys, so those are all one bedrooms. Let's jump into the two bedrooms. Let's jump into the two bedrooms, all right? So I have a few two bedrooms. I don't want to board. I don't want to make this too long. But now we're going to start, of course, we're going to start going lower into the quality, right? So we're talking about the one bedrooms. You saw they're really nice, but they're also not the most luxury ever. So now we're going to jump in two bedrooms. So you know the quality is going to go down a little bit, okay? So you can expect cannot expect as much. So there's a 500,000, two, two in Miami Beach, about 1,100 square feet. Okay, so it's, as you can see, pretty much across the street from the beach. Okay, so older buildings in Miami Beach, there's a lot of older buildings, but you know, they're, they're fine. If this is what you like, two bedroom, that price range. As you can see, it's, it's, it's not, nothing, nothing wow. But hey, it's location, right across the street from the beach. What else do you want? Okay, so nice little balcony, looking west. You can see the sun, sunsets there. All right, so that's it, pretty much it for that building. Let's go next. We're gonna go down to South Beach. This is Miami Beach, South Beach, check out this one. Two, two, smaller, 11, uh, less than a thousand square foot. Okay, but really, really nice views. Check this out. Really cool views there, really nice interior, very well taken care of. Less than 1,000 square foot, but it still seems comfortable. And you're pretty much on West Avenue. The sunsets there are the best. I talk about it in a lot of my videos. So this is a really good choice. It has washer dryer, it has parking, it has, uh, it has balcony. I mean, you get, you get a lot of things in this building. Look at those views when you're hanging out in the pool. I mean, this is amazing. And those shots are not even in the best time. Sunset is the best time. Anyway, that's Miami Beach. Then we're gonna go to North, back to Aventura. Let me show you the map again. Aventura, where we're located. Aventura is up here. All right, guys, this is Aventura. Sunny Isles, I showed you earlier. Aventura is right there. So let's check out the water view condo in Aventura. Two, two, 11, a little bit over 1,100 square feet for $500,000. Check out the views in this building. You get to see the Biscayne, and you get to see the beach, the ocean, come on. 
you can see dolphins. So this is the interior, the furniture is so-so, but as you can see, the floors are renovated. They did the, the bathrooms, the kitchens, they renovated pretty much. Just with that furniture, it doesn't look like it's been renovated, but yes, it has. Okay, so spacious unit, it's comfortable. It's a, it's a condo with some amenities, has a valet parking. All right, so that's Aventura, and then we're gonna show you another one. Also in Aventura, Coronado is right pretty much on the golf course. It's also been renovated. So you see the views, amazing views here. Golf course views, really close to Aventura Mall. Very family friendly uh, location. I love the Aventura area, I actually grew up around there. So it's very, very nice. $420,000, two bedroom, two bath, a little bit over 1,100 square feet. So also a very good choice for the price. That one is great. And then back to downtown Miami. This is back to downtown Miami just to give you a choice down south because you see this is the only one that we kind of have down here. So this is a 50, 50 Biscayne, which is an amazing, amazing condo. It is a little bit more high-end condo. This unit here is a little bit on the smaller side. It also does not have balconies. But it's also, I mean, the location here is amazing. Prime location. Wash your dry unit. Amenities and everything in this building is, is gorgeous. So it's very, also a very good choice. 495,000, two to 1,100 square feet. All right, guys, there you have it. Now you know what to expect when you're looking at one bedrooms or two bedrooms under $500,000 in Miami. Now, if you're looking to invest or relocate to Miami, please feel free to reach out to us. My team and I would love to help you get settled down here or invest in a property down here in Miami. We would love to talk to you, talk to you about more details. You can reach out to us. Uh, we can set up a one-on-one -on -one Zoom meeting. Uh, you send us a WhatsApp, an Instagram, an email. We'll be happy to talk to you and help you out. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching the video, and we see you in the next one.